In this tutorial, we are covering what are called pickup notes. And in my book, and most of your books, this is page 16. If you have a different edition, I've uploaded this page to Canvas. Okay, so on page 16, you have the heading at the top of the page, pickup notes. And basically, in my own words, which may be very similar to what's printed, I'm not reading off it, is that music often begins on a beat that's not beat one. Any note or any music that starts with a beat other than beat one, that note or those notes in that measure, it would be an incomplete measure, are called pickup notes. So you could have one pickup note like this example. So when you were playing this, you would count one, two, three, play on four, one, two, three, four. That's just the way you start the piece. Once you get into the full, first full measure, then it's just like it's always been. In this example, you have two pickup notes. So you can see one and two in parentheses. And that means you're going to be starting on beat three in this one. So for this one, you would count in one, two, play, play, one, two, three, four. So it's a common practice. A lot of tunes like below uh, have a pickup note or several pickup notes. And what that means is that you're just starting differently. If you're playing with a group, you need to count it in so that everyone knows where you're starting beat one and they know to come in on beat four or beat three, like these two examples. When you're playing by yourself, you should still be in the habit of counting it in because that's good practice and you'll be setting an even tempo for yourself. I'm going to play through this first part. Now notice here, they don't have the blanks written in. It will actually appear like this in standard notation. You won't have three blank spaces there. But you know because it's in 4-4 four, four time that there are four quarter notes in every full measure or the equivalent, right? But this measure only has one and it's at the and then right away you start a full measure. So this has to be beat four. There's no other uh, logical explanation for that. So that means in your head or out loud, if you're playing an ensemble, you're going to count in one, two, three, and then everyone plays on beat four there. All right, I'm going to demonstrate this Worried Man Blues, just that first line or first couple measures so that you understand the concept. All right, so I'm looking at the music now and I'm going to be counting. Here I go. This is Worried Man Blues. Exercise 31. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, etc. So it's just the way that you start off that's different.